Hey Praise Kids, it's Pastor Steve here with a lesson for you today about how God is all-knowing. That means He knows everything all the time. And to tell us a story today about how God is all-knowing, I've got a puppet, but it's a real little one. It's called a finger puppet. See him? Now this finger puppet is a man named Jonah. Now God, because he's all-knowing, knew that the people of the city of Nineveh were acting very bad. God also knew that they were going to get punished for the way they were acting. So God called Jonah and he said, I want you to go to the people of Nineveh, Nineveh and tell them they have to change how they're acting or they're going to get punished. Well, Jonah didn't like the people of Nineveh. He actually wanted them to get punished. So even though Nineveh was that way, Jonah went that way. In fact, Jonah got into a boat because he wanted to sail as far away from Nineveh as he could get. But God knows everything. And he knew that Jonah wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. So God sent a storm on the water and the boat was rocking up and down and it was probably going to sink. Now there were other people on the boat with Jonah and they said, what's going on? Jonah said, it's probably because of me. God told me to go that way and our boat is going this way. And they said, well, what are we going to do? Jonah said, you're going to have to throw me overboard. And they didn't want to, but he said, you're going to have to. It's my fault. I'm not listening to God. So they did. They threw Jonah overboard and the boat kept going because the storm stopped. Meanwhile, Jonah was going down and down and down in the water. But guess what? God was all knowing. So he sent a big fish. And the big fish swam over and swallowed Jonah. Jonah was inside that fish for three whole days, inside its belly. And when he was in there, he thought to himself, I should have listened to God. I should have gone to Nineveh like God told me. And so he prayed to God, God, would you forgive me for my disobedience? Would you give me another chance? And God did. He had that fish go over to a beach and spit Jonah out. And Jonah got up, dried himself off, and walked to Nineveh. He told all the people in Nineveh exactly what God told him. You people are acting badly, and you're going to get punished for your bad behavior. Well, when the people of Nineveh heard that, they said, we need to change. And so they did. They started living the right way and God didn't have to punish them because Jonah did what he was supposed to do. There's another cool part of the story of Jonah. Do you remember when I said that Jonah was inside the belly of that fish for three days? Later on, Jesus compared himself to Jonah. He said, just like Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days, I'm going to be in the belly of the earth for three days. Do you know what he meant by that? He meant that they were going to bury him after he was crucified. But just like Jonah came back out of that fish, Jesus came back out of his grave. So it's a cool story about Jonah it's an even cooler story about Jesus. He came back from the grave and resurrected to show us that he has the power over death. So, what can we learn from this? First, we know that God is all-knowing. When Jonah decided to go the other way, when Jonah decided to get in a boat and sail away, did God know about it? He sure did. He knows everything when they threw Jonah overboard and he went into the water. Did God know about it? He sure did. He sent a fish to kind of rescue Jonah. 
When Jonah prayed and asked God for a second chance, did he know about it? He sure did. God knows everything and he cares about us. He cared about Jonah enough to save him, but he cared enough about the people of Nineveh to make Jonah go there and do what he was supposed to do. And God cares about you too. And he knows everything about you. And he loves you. And you know what? I love you too. So thank you for watching today. And I hope you remember the story of Jonah. God bless. Bye-bye.